you welcome back now we focus on the education sector expanding access to education is key to the current administration's roadmap on education launched in 2016 as a ministerial strategy plan 2016 to 2019 since then the federal government has been working tirelessly to reposition the nation's education sector after years of neglect now pursuing this key policy objective of government the tertiary education trust fund ted fund recently enlisted 14 new beneficiary institutions the highest in recent times adamu Ado Adamo also reports that by this feat, the federal government is funding 97 public universities, 66 polytechnics, and 69 colleges of education through the fund. This is the Air Force Institute of Technology, Kaduna, one of the new public institutions recently enlisted into the fault of benefiting institutions by the Treasury Education Trust Fund. The new enlistment brings to 216 the number of institutions that are benefiting from TED fund intervention from the 2 percent education tax from registered companies in Nigeria. Every year, the federal government through the fund spends billions of naira in building infrastructure, capacity, research support and library development in the institutions. The trend of disbursement to the institutions recorded a historic high in 2016. This is apart from the remarkable improvement in human capacity development, where a total of over 40,000 staff got sponsorship to pursue their postgraduate studies in different universities across the world. In line with the Buhari administration trust on accountability and judicious utilizations of public funds, the Tertiary Education Trust Fund has put in place stringent measures for benefiting institutions to diligently adhere to standard procedure and the rule of law. It's an open secret that in Nigeria of today, Tet Fund is largely responsible for massive infrastructural development in public universities. And therefore, it's a thing of joy for me as the pioneer vice chancellor of this university to see that we are being enlisted. It means that it's going, to, it's going to enhance us. It's going to help us to achieve even our goals faster than we thought. And we believe that uh, with the listing by TED Fund, we're going to have a modern laboratory that will drive some of our programs like aerospace engineering, cyber security, electronic warfare. These are areas that's, you know. Nigeria is in for a better deal with the enlistment of the Air Force Institute of Technology, Kaduna, together with 14 other institutions, as there is going to be a robust intervention that would help the institution develop her core areas of mandate, especially developing a defense technology that is going to be locally based. And this is one of the areas of interest of the present administration from the Air Force Institute of Technology, Kaduna, Adwa Demol, so NTA News. And now joining me in the studio is Dr. Abdullahi Bappabichi, the Executive Secretary, Tat Fund. We're glad to have you in the studio. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, we've just heard that um, your institution has uh, enlisted 14 new public tertiary institutions to That's benefit right. from TED Fund intervention. That's correct. That's a positive development. Now, we're interested in knowing, how did you come about the 14 schools? Oh, well, our law provides that uh, all public tertiary education institutions, mm -hmm. universities, polytechnics, and colleges of education are entitled to benefit from our intervention activities. But when a new one is established, there are guidelines that each applicant, mm -hmm. prospective beneficiary institution must mm -hmm. uh, fulfill. And these institutions will have to apply first. And we must ensure that they are public institutions. They are mm -hmm. not owned privately, they are not co-owned privately, but they must be public institutions and they must be recognized by the appropriate regulatory agency in the case of universities the national universities commission in the case of colleges of education the national commission for colleges of education and in the case of polytechnics the national board for technical educations and these institutions must also have commenced academic activities they have enrolled students and they have some physical infrastructure on ground they have started their own activities but most importantly they must also have 
a law establishing them. In the case of federal institutions, an act of National Assembly assented to by Mr. President. In the case of state institutions, an edict of the House of Assembly assented to by the governor. When these things are fulfilled and mm -hmm. the institutions apply, mm -hmm. we go and visit physically. Okay. We ensure that all these requirements are met and then we make the appropriate recommendations to the Board of Trustees of the Fund and they will give us the approval and then we issue the enlistment. Okay, now, with this 14, you know, institutions on board, yeah. what are the chances of new ones coming up? Well, any public tertiary e education uh -huh. institutions defined by our act to mean a public university, a public polytechnic, or a public college of education mm -hmm. is entitled to be enlisted so long as they are going to meet these basic requirements. Okay. And uh, we are very open to have more and more institutions because this will entail, the, the total of this is that we're going to have more access to tertiary education institution, uh, tertiary education in our country. And you have the resources. Well, it depends on the tax it, collection. The the okay. And now, what feedback are you getting, you know, in terms of benefits that have come with the enlistment? Well, like I said, the, once you are keyed into mm. benefiting from our intervention mm. activities. Mm. Uh, what it means is you will be enjoying provision of infrastructure for teaching and learning. Okay. We will be training your lecturers to acquire higher, uh, higher degrees and to also be attending conferences. We will be supporting research and publication in your institution. We will be supporting you to get equipment, laboratories, library, uh, holdings, etc. Mm. The total of this is that we are going to expand the provision of quality tertiary education in Nigeria. And one of the uh, strategic goals mm. of this administration in terms of higher education is to expand access so that the teeming youth, millions of them that are year in, year out, aspiring to get placement in our tertiary yes. education institution can be able to have a chance to get a good education. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for I've having me. I've been speaking me. with uh, Dr. Abdullahi Bapabichi, the Executive Secretary of Tet Fund has been throwing more light on the expansion of tertiary institutions in the country.